So for Nehemiah's birthday weekend, I ditched him. <laughs> No. Uh -uh. Oh, wow. Let's do it. <laughs> 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 hey. Happy birthday to you. It was Nehemiah's birthday recently. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. <laughs> Happy birthday. 29. 29. 29 feeling old. fine. Looking fine. Getting close. Oh. Oh. Getting, getting close. Keep it PG. <laughs> um. <laughs> so for Nehemiah's birthday weekend, I ditched him. <laughs> Uh, this event happens every year around the same time. It's called the Sweet Life Conference, and it is the Northern California Nevada Assemblies of God. That's a mouthful. The NorCal Nevada Assemblies of God Women's Convention. Yes. And every year it is held. Pretty much on my on birthday. On his birthday. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah. So last year I didn't go, but this year Ezekiel and I hit the road and ditched him for his birthday. <laughs> If it wasn't enough that he's already crashed a bachelorette party, bridal showers, it's time to crash a women's conference. Oh. I was laying out our pajamas for tonight for when we get back to the hotel and there was this car accident right literally out my window. A sweet life conference, here we come. We heard from Holly Wagner and Glenn Berto and Debbie Hedden. It was a really good time. Two things that stood out to me were it was run so well. They had little treats for us every once in a while. Lots of good vendors. The worship was awesome from the House Modesto band. So good. Those were two things that stood out to me about the conference and I had a great time with some of the ladies there. Sweet Life 2018! Um, I wasn't alone. I got to experience my birthday with Faith and Ellie, and we found a home, a uh, host home, uh, my brother. And I just invited myself over, and <laughs> we had a great time. So we made it, but we gotta go inside and get a pass so we can go inside the base. It's raining. It's raining. Look girls, you got it. We got the special ticket. Let's go see cousins. Yeah? So on my birthday, we went to Trenton's game. It was a blast because it's fun for me to watch my nephew play basketball. I mean, I saw this kid when he was born and now he's such a tall, uh, grown little boy running around and it's fun to watch. Uh, so we all went and the sun was out. There's not a cloud in the sky and we decided not to take our jackets. Go in there for an hour and 15 minutes-ish and we come out Yo, keep hailing. Going. Get in. It was hailing. Get in. <laughs> Made that a school? I don't have any shoes. No. Uh -uh. Oh, wow. They're up 1914. A minute left. Nail biter. 1916. There's 13 seconds left. Oh no. Shoot! Block it! Oh! 
So Nehemiah comes home to me and I tried to surprise him by getting a babysitter for the kids and taking him out to dinner. So thanks Veronica and Chris for watching the kids for a whole 40 minutes. <laughs> Uh, let's see like so we went all the way to the birthday thing so special it was awesome we had to wait it was a Saturday night so we waited 25 30 minutes for our seat which was nice we were just talking hanging out we made it to our seat we did our order they brought our food to us set it in front of us as I pick up my phone oh. to find that Ezekiel is crying hysterically yes he is done that's it Ezekiel says happy birthday yeah. dad. So I eat my food real quick. I pay on the little thing. They have the little thing that you can pay on the tea on the table. And uh, so and we get out of there. We kill our stuff and get out of there and come home. And He gave him a hard time. Ezekiel loves his mama. Yes he does. And I love him and too. And I don't Ezekiel. blame him. I don't blame him at all. <laughs> so maybe next birthday. <laughs> we'll see. The most frequently asked question I get probably in life over parenting advice over travel advice is what camera do you use <laughs> yeah she now, does uh, get that people, question asked a lot people ask me that all the time to answer your question for five years i used the canon t4i for five years five this years. was my thing canon t4i it's a entry level dslr it was a gift to me from my dad the, right before Faith was born. Her dad gave this gift to her uh, because he wanted us to have good pictures of our children and that's how, kind of how it started and then it became more of a hobby as she grew and liked the camera and realized whoa there's a lot more this thing can do. <laughs> yeah so I shot an automatic for two years on this thing just without really thinking and then I finally learned how to use it a little more and a little more. Now five years later I got a new Christmas present and it was the Canon 6D Mark II. Mm -hmm. She's so proud of it. <laughs> I'm so excited. So proud, so excited about it. I've been looking at this camera for a really long time, anticipating the day that maybe it would come into my life. <laughs> I shot Veronica's wedding on it. That was a huge reason why it was given to me, was I was going to rent a camera for mm -hmm. Veronica's wedding. And so I shot Veronica's wedding on it. It was being good to me. I was shooting the kids in the living room and um, I set it down up on the counter, turned it off, set it down, picked it back up about two minutes later. It had just been sitting there. Nobody yeah. touched it. Nobody licked it. Nobody <laughs> spilled anything on it. I picked it up and it was just straight dead. There was n no response at thing. all. It is not working. It's not turning on. It's only been a couple months, right? Yeah, it had only been a three months. Three months at the max. So, the journey of the camera begins. Mama's camera, and we're gonna ship it back to them because it's broken. Sound good? Put it in the FedEx. The circuit board died. Yeah. The entire, they had to replace the entire circuit board, but it is back. So if you're interested in either of those cameras, I can add a little link below that you guys can check out and you can check them out for yourself. So if you have made it this far to the end of our video, we want to say thank you. Thank you. It blows us away that so many of you guys watch these videos and then take the time to comment yeah, or yeah. like or share and to talk to us about mm -hmm. it when we run into you. And I feel like repeatedly a bunch of people have the last week or two come up to us and said, hey, my daughter watches your videos mm -hmm. and she loves the way that you interact with your, your kids or I love the way you guys interact with each other. It's inspiring to me. Those kind of things are so meaningful to us yes. and we really appreciate that you take the time to tell us that you enjoy your videos. Or even if you just like the bloopers or <laughs> if you just maybe think Ezekiel's really cute. We love hearing those things from you and truly appreciate that you take the time to watch us share our lives with you. 
So thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it because we uh, enjoy uh, our lives and we want to share it with you because we want to encourage you to be more intentional and do family on purpose. Oh, by the way, there's always someone creeping in the background when we're filming these. Oh yeah. There he is. <laughs> He's always there. <laughs> Last week's video you could see his foot. That's it? You're gonna trick him into thinking you're a real good dog. See you next week. <laughs> Thanks, I'll take my hair back too. One of the drivers still hasn't gotten out. Oh God bless you. Run! Take your time, please. <laughs>